welcome to the Trinity Force Podcast. Yo, it's that Triforce cast beaming straight to your home. Grab a beer so we know Pony ain't drinking alone. Send an email, a quick tweet, just pick up the phone. Leave a message, hit the beep if you're a creep, watch your tone. Discuss the meta game, patch notes, whatever helps your stats most. Obi Pong Kenobi is your last hope to snatch gold. So grab your headphones and join in the fun. We'll try and force in some jokes and some cringeworthy puns. Yo, we can make it together, people. Trinity Force Podcast. Boys are second to none, but that's the end of the intro, it's time we've begun. Hey guys, welcome to the Trinity Force Podcast. You're listening to episode number 387. The whole crew is here. Serial Punch, Dom, and myself. So Chira did the not make crew? it this week. Yeah, it's not the whole crew at all. That's most of the whole crew. Yeah, it's everybody but one person. Like, we're all here. Everybody say hello. You know, to me, no. it's the whole crew, just b- because, like, I was used to the four-man show. The five-man the five man was, like, a, a pretty new thing when I left, so... The five-man show... It feels like the whole... Well. It feels like the whole crew, though. Well, that's true. The five-man show works out pretty well, though. Like, it's it's nice having five people. We kind of actually have, like, six on the podcast total, because uh, Days is going to make her round about on, on Mondays when she can, because I know Dom said he can't make it every single Monday. So we're kind of kind of doing that rotating chair guest thing. You guys are going to hear some new hosts over the course of the next few months as we just kind of rotate people in and out. Uh, but the core of uh, Serial Punch and Chira will all be there always. Plus, oh. Except nope. for, isn't Punch not going to be here on Mondays, though? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I yeah. Like, like, that's exactly great, great point. Can we I almost still be core? brought it home, except it's not correct. I guess, <laughs> I, well, you, yeah, you're right. You won't be here Mondays. So that's why we're doing the rotating Monday thing because you won't be here. Because I'm a douchebag. It's why. Well, I'm screwing I, it up. Everything. You've so, got an important ranked team that's trying to get something. Like maybe that cool ward, like the ward trophies. Or or you, I think you. I think oh. you get that for playing Summoner's Rift solo as well. Do you really? I thought. I thought I read something along those lines. Oh, well, that's cool. That's that would be a good thing to to figure out, you know, as we talk about end of season things. Like I don't know on Monday, last Monday. I mean, not like this coming one because we all know what we're talking about Monday, and it's Ivern. Ivern, and, yes. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It's gonna be awesome. Wow, you're She's excited, but yeah, hey, hey. I, you know, I've, I've watched a handful of this show, and you are never this excited. He's a pretty He's cool champion, like a support tree who's like all lanky and shit. Is well, uh, guys, before we get, like, we have fun and we're, we're having fun talking about Ivern and everything, I do want to take a moment to talk about something that is um, rather sobering, and I wasn't telling the rest of these guys, I hadn't told you guys about it, because I was just thinking about it on the way home. Uh, veterans, right? Military veterans. They're they're pretty near and dear to our hearts. DeClaude is a military veteran. Shanghai Six, he's a military veteran. When I, but um, what we don't actually talk a lot about a lot or, or really bring up is the veteran suicide rate. Cause as of right now, there's, there's 22 veterans a day that commit suicide. And I just want everybody out there to know, cause I know we have a lot of active military. We have a lot of people who uh, are veterans listening to this show that, uh, I feel for you, and I like I said, this is sobering, but I feel for you, and there's actually a place you guys can go. If you guys are have any, any thoughts or you need a place to talk, there's a uh, website, veteranscrisisline.net. You go there, there's, a, there's an 800 number you can call, and you can get help. Like, um, uh, I just, I, I feel for it. I was listening to it on the radio today. I heard, I heard it. I hear them talk about it all the time, and, and, it, and it kind of rang, you know, rang, or struck home or struck close to home yeah 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 with with the claude and everybody out there and i really want anybody who's listening any active military anybody who's you know like you're serving the country right and it's not fair that you guys have to go out over cross seas and then come home and you have no help and and you know there's the ptsd and all these other problems that you guys can have and if you guys do have a problems please go check out veteranscrisisline.net and find help if you have any problems um again i know that was really sobering and it wasn't you guys no one on this podcast was uh, ready for good that. for you i'm bringing that up yeah, yeah. Thank you. Well said. Uh, but yeah, I feel for everybody out there. I love our active military. I have there's plenty of family members of active military, and hell, I even thought about becoming it at one time at one point in my life, but I didn't. And so, um, thank you guys, anybody who's out there who's serving. So uh, now let's have some fun. Let's talk about some League of Legends, and uh, everybody put a smile back on your face. <laughs> hey. Uh, Try. Patch, yeah. Yeah. Right. Patch six point one nine did come out this week, and it is not the world's patch. Remember that. 6.18 will be what Worlds is played on. So if you're looking at this, I know Dom and I were talking. He was like, oh, man, those singe buffs are for uh, Samsung. And then well, we're like, oh. <laughs> I mean, even just reading through it, they are surprisingly tame for post-World stuff. I was just thinking about that, too. Actually, I was 
so I'm surprised that like th that they're still putting out patches like there's still a 6.19 there's still a 6.2 etc coming out when we're headed toward the preseason pr we're rapidly headed toward the preseason yeah and I kind of feel like at a point you just stop releasing patches and you say here's the game for a month right yeah this is I but mean that doesn't happen like that that doesn't happen in general like have we ever had like a month like since we started putting out patches like every like week or two they oh, would they would schedule, leave it be been, for like yeah. two months because like, no. that's I, worlds, I, I, worlds is to be fair a long time but I like, feel like back in season three or like at the end of season three they just left it on the I mean, probably whatever was the immediate post Worlds patch, they just left it on that for a long time, and then finally got to preseason. I just remember support Annie being super hip back then and not being looked at at all for quite a while. Right. But that's that's all I got. Well, the the, the, the whole patch and their and the, probably the people they've hired and, and how Riot looks at it. I mean, they've talked about it. It's changed quite a bit. I mean, if you go back and listen to the Scars Art episode, he talks about how uh, much of a reform they've they've pushed through the system of patches and everything. They're always looking ahead. Um, it's a fine-tuned engine now. They're on that strict schedule. They've got constantly got changes coming in and going out. So yeah, I don't I don't expect them to stop now that they've uh, oh that they can't stop. Let's say that the engine is it's too <laughs> can't strong. Stop, they, they can't stop. turn it off. It's a snowball yeah, guess, and it's gained a lot of momentum. I guess the only thing that people might be concerned about in terms of like rooting for your favorite team and concern that oh shit the pl the patch that they were supposed to play on is no longer live. What the hell? They still have tournament realm. Like you can still log on to tournament realm and and scream teams. And, and they have they have that stuff. They're, it's not like Riot's gonna be like, hey, we're gonna disable the whole game for this time, and and you guys just can't practice. <laughs> and they're mostly on that tournament realm at this point. Yeah. Well, I mean that the, starts the, that starts in oh a week now, but it days. lasts a full month. Yeah, it lasts a full month. So, I mean, I don't know what we'll be on by the time it's over, but they'll come back to a very different game that they haven't played in like three patches. <laughs> well, a lot of those guys are. Yorick, over in Korea what the right fuck? Now. What is this? Well, yeah. a lot of those guys are over in Korea playing right now too, and they're playing. Some of them are playing solo queue. Like a, a big chunk of them are, but I don't know how far Korea lags on the patches, if at all. So yeah, let's just let's just jump right into it. Let's start at the top. Um, a big one that a lot of you may have not seen coming, though we've talked about it, is that Kogma is actually being reverted to his pre. Part of his stats are being re reworked to his pre rework state because they found that he was really toxic <laughs> in the game in the way he was, and that they it wasn't what he, they were shooting for with Kogma when they made it that way. I and mean, so when one of your abilities is basically not worth ranking up until you can't do anything else, you, you missed the mark somewhere. Well, they also changed... Like, the, the problem they wanted to fix, I thought, was making him less Feast or Famine, and they made him more so that, because you can't move... You're pretty, you're pretty much unable to like do anything once you start your machine gun, in, they, unless you want to stop dealing damage, and that completely defeats the purpose of. They of went Hog. through that stretch where they looked at every champion and said, "You know what? Let's just double down on what they're already doing well. Let's make mm -hmm. them do that better, and then do nothing else, you know, at all." And Kogma is already the extreme case of you know late game hyper carry, so they're like, "Let's make them even more extreme." <laughs> And it yeah, turned out that just made him an early game hyper carry too. Yeah, yeah. To be fair, they did they did end up like kind of nailing a lot of the other marksmen because they did, as you said, rework pretty much all of them. Like Graves now has like a real shotgun style feel. Uh, Caitlyn's a bit more a bit more trap based. Like they 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 made everyone more what they more thematic than right. than just this is another person who attacks from range and you want to protect them later. So I like I like that they're reverting this because it really doesn't doesn't change too it's, much about him. It's, like you're. If you yeah. already played him before, it's not gonna it's not gonna change much. The old one, the old style, old style, uh, this season style of Kogma was just it just wasn't a healthy play style. You you get so much attack speed that you either stand in one spot and attack somebody until they die, or they walk out of range of your attacks because there's no there's no or walking with new Kogma <laughs> unless you're scripting. And he right. was very popular scripting. Yes, champion. that guy. Screw that guy. I suppose that's true. If you if you ever watch a lot of the scripters, a lot of people who are leveling up play Kogma, and they just use the bots because the bots can do that attack speed. But for just to kind of throw, excuse me, man, I get the hiccups tonight. Uh, just to throw that out there, Q now grants bonus attack speed with every every level you put into it. W no longer in, or increases your attack speed or no longer doubles the attack speed cap. It's just stuck at what it was before, and that's um, that it has an 
ability power ratio, 1% max health per 100 ability power. Uh, max health damage is 2 to 6% based on level. Bonus range increases with every level you put into it. The cooldown is now a flat 17 seconds at all ranks. And Bio Arcane Barrage's cooldown begins on cast rather than when the effect ends. So that 17 seconds isn't quite as long as you know you would expect it to be. It's 9 seconds because um, it's an 8 second duration, correct? Yes. Yeah. So basically a 9 second cooldown. Okay, right. so somebody's gonna. I know this is gonna tie into to Twitch talk later. What the fuck happened in the last couple patches that made hyper carries just suddenly the best? Because the three top, three of the four top winning champs on this last patch were Kogma, Misfortune, and Twitch, which were one, three, and four. Or sorry, sorry, Jinx was number two. Oh yeah, I was gonna say Jinx. Well, Jinx sorry, sorry, got, sorry, Jinx. Jinx Kogma, got Jinx, buffed. and then Twitch. Yeah, she got buffed, but like Sibber suddenly hyper carries. And Twitch is was always flying I guess under Ash, the radar. Ash got nerfed too. Is that what happened? Is it just like the the top ones yeah. got nerfed and suddenly suddenly hyper carries? Oh well, there are the yep. rotating ones and they haven't been nerfed in a while. That's basically it. Okay. Wow. has been in the same boat as as Twitch, where he's he's had a high win percentage for the majority of the season. Yeah, yeah so I, I was looking at the the graph. It's still hovering around like fifty two to fifty four since like the last five patches. And a lot of it also is that solo queue is a whole different beast, and the fact that hyper carrying is or hyper scaling can be a lot easier than like professional games as well. So uh, right now the top three, like going in the worlds, they're saying the top three are going to be Ash, Jin, and J and potentially Jinx going in there uh lucian was the other one it was ash jin and lucian will be like the yeah, top three I, cont contested champions and jinx might see some play i don't see lucian being anything other than like as contested as the rest like his win rates and everything look r low but part of that's because he's played in a third of all games basically and you know sooner or later that's just going to suppress your win rate um right so, do you guys want to talk anything about uh, i was going to bring up twitch since we're on the topic of 80 carries He's, um, in this, he's in this patch. If yeah, you wanna, yes, if you he is. Just, do you want to just cover the AD carries first? Yeah, because, might as well. Go for it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Twitch is Twitch's is, uh, Q attack speed. So the the attack speed you gain when you come out of stealth, it's being nerfed as you rank it up. It starts at thirty still, but goes up to fifty percent instead of seventy. So you're only getting five percent for each rank you're getting because seventy percent is kind of bonkers. Just have that. I mean, I, granted, Tristana has something similar on her Q, but it's not when you come out of stealth. You can kind of see Tristana walking up to you. They're removing a little bit of power because he gets that yeah. Q reset with uh, every kill that happens. So he can k perpetually keep up that 70% attack speed late game, which just makes him too powerful. On an average game, how many items are you at by level 13, Adam? Three. So, like, I mean, two, yeah, three, it's... Three, two plus boots. Two and a half. Yeah. That, that's where he's going to be hit most because then he's going to get either another attack speed item or, or a harder hitting uh ad item and like you're not gonna care after that but right around level you know 10 10 12 13 that's when you're actually gonna feel this change that's when you're getting the the next couple points in queue or at yeah. least where people yeah that's that's where you're ranking it up and you don't quite have all the attack speed uh otherwise in your kit like you'd like to or in your items i mean you guys don't know if he's being played in other regions do you I, I thought I can find that out because I, I don't think he was like was it last year that he was played well pretty much everyone was played at Worlds last year there was like a yep. whole ton of champions that were picked but I don't remember seeing Twitch before champions. Worlds and then he just showed up it's like as an assassin terror with Ghostblade so I'm uh, wondering if that might be the same case this year I'm trying but to I don't know I don't follow the, the um, foreign seas yeah Lalalytics will let you uh, see all this uh, he was played actually. Oh wow, he was played a lot in in China, a lot in China. He was played in in uh, some promotions in in NA, but GPL, LPL, uh, at least, at least uh, what is this? Fifty games, fifty games through middle of, of July. So yeah, I mean he was played. He's not like he's not like a top it, few one, but he's he so was he's played. Not gonna be, he was winning. He was he's not going to have a spot in the top games. three. As far oh. as regional statistics go, it looks like uh, Europe and Brazil like him a little bit more than everywhere else. But he hovers at around like what? between eight and nine percent pick rate. Okay, I mean that's just, that's just general opposite. regional, not okay. not uh, oh, recent, not, not recency. Pro. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, recency in in pro games. I'm talking about China. Yeah, I, I was talking about general region. Yeah, so he'll probably so. have a cameo, but he's not going to be one of the top eighty carry picks. No. If, well, let's be fair with Worlds. If you're expecting to go 